Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday on FIFA 22. Shapeshifters is, of course, going on, but it's Icon Upgrade Pack Day. Every single Sunday, we get these Icon Upgrade Packs. For the past two weeks, we have had an Icon Moments player pick. Been very exciting, been a lot of great pulls. It's a little bit of an expensive SBC, but here we are after two weeks with the same exact SBC, and according to what EA have done in the past, Usually they switch it up and today we might get a brand new type of icon player pick or some other type of icon upgrade SBC today on Sunday, right? Sundays are always the day for this stuff. So I want to take a look at that. What in the world could we get today or could they just release this and make it really cheap? They've done that before as well, but two weeks, usually after two weeks of the same SBC, we get a new one. So we'll talk about that potential today. Of course, we have to take a look at the shapeshifters content with the Carrasco player pick, which is pretty cool. Um, and I think a lot of people are stuck between which one should they go for the right wing with the better stats or the mid uh, center attacking mid version with the five star skills because people love five star skills in this game. So we're going to talk about that today. And of course, uh, what is going on with this compensation situation, EA Sports, it has been five days now, the clock is ticking, man, and you have not given us our eFigs packs as compensation yet. It's crazy that we have no information, no news, no, you know, no, no word about how, when we're going to get those packs back. The compensation needs to come very soon. So hopefully it's today on Sunday, but we'll talk about that in today's video. And of course, the market continues to drop. I take a look at these team of the season cards, uh, you know, even after yesterday, thinking that Benzema was pretty low at 1.5 million coins. Now Benzema is like 1.4, I believe. Yeah, 1.41. These guys are mad low, but it's just because the shapeshifters are super duper cracked. People want to go out and they want to try them. And uh, that's that's causing people to sell cards in other areas to try to get these shapeshifter items. Wow, Sonaldo, 3.6. All right, he's a little bit lower now. Okay, we're going to have to watch that. Anyways, we'll talk about all that and more and what to expect on Sunday today in FIFA 22. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit thumbs up and of course subscribe. If you're new, let's talk about that player pick. Let's start today off by talking about that because the Icon Upgrade SBC is a staple, at least for the past like two months. Every single Sunday, we have been getting some sort of Icon Upgrade pack or player pick. Now, for the past two weeks, we've had the exact same SBC, the 88, 88, 89, 89 Icon Moments player pick SBC. And it's been about what, like 600, 650,000 coins. It's been expensive, but not stupid expensive that nobody would want to go and do it. Now, here's the thing. I think there's two ways they could go about today. One, we get a brand new player pick. And if you're like, Nate, what in the world could we get today? It'd be a brand new player pick or pack. I mean, just think about all the incredible options that we have with icon swaps, right? Let's say, you know, a 91 attack mid icon moments pack wouldn't be that hype right now. I feel like that it's a little bit less hype than an icon moments player pick, but you know, a 93 plus pack, or maybe they do another player pick, but they make it 91 plus. There's so many different options of upgrade packs that they could be putting out. And you see them all in icon swaps, right? All of these packs that they've released in swaps, they could very easily put out as an SBC. Now we've already had the 93 plus icon moments pack. So hopefully they're going to continue with the player pick vibes and either go with a 91 plus moments pack um, or, you know, maybe, maybe they go with a 91 plus attack mid moments pack, but make it cheaper. That's the pack on a player pick, of course. So I would be a fan of a 91 plus moments player pick, which wouldn't really be that big of an upgrade. But I, I think it's too early. I, I think it's really, uh, wait, was that a pack? 91 plus moments player pick. That's um, one of three. And then this 93 plus is one of three, but then this one's one of five. Okay, that's why this one's so expensive. But a 93 plus moments player pick, I think it's too early for that. I mean, I know that it's the middle to end of June, but an, like the slow progression so far of how they've been doing the icon upgrade packs, I know we'll get to this somewhere being as like at some time they'll release a 93 plus moments pick in the SBC section and it'll be sick, but I think we're still a little bit too early for that. So we'll see what EA do today, but they have plenty of options. We're going to get some sort of icon upgrade today. I really just hope it's a player pick. Now the other option, like I mentioned is they could just re-release the same SBC, but make it cheaper. We saw this with a prime icon player pick you know, a couple months ago where it was like a five, 600 K SBC. Then they re-released it the next week at like half the price and you know the market was really really impacted by that and the lower tier fodder especially went up a lot now speaking of fodder again if they do 
uh, release the same SBC but make it cheaper today, your lower to mid tier fodder is going to, you know, have a huge spike in price. If they make an icon moments player pick like 300k today, or maybe even 400,000 coins, that's going to, instead of your 88s, 89s, 90s, and 90s, like that stuff going up, like it does right now for an, an SBC that requires 288s and 289 squads, if you're low on the requirements to like 85s and 86 rated squads, and these are going to be the cards that go up the most, right? Your 85s to your 88s are probably going to see the biggest rise, but more so your 85s to 86s because they're going to be used the most in those sorts of SBCs. So, you know, you're like, Nate, it's still time to buy fodder, right? Yes, it is. Fodder is really, really low on the weekend per usual. I would be stocking these cards, whether you're just liking the shapeshifter content. I mean, we have had two back-to-back -back days of really good SBCs. The Carrasco SBC being a player pick is pretty cool. The Felipe Anderson SBC is really, really dope as well. And he's, what, 150,000 coins right now? That's like the cheapest that I've seen his SBC um, been in terms of a price on on the game. So I think that fodder is absolutely low enough to invest. I like anything from 83s to like 90s per usual, but I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm feeling a little bit more of the mid tier range this week. You know, it just really with besides the icon moments pack that would potentially come out today or player pick, what's really going to continue to drive this promo of shapeshifters and push these cards and, and make it a really hype week is it's going to be the SBCs. So, you know, if they're dropping player SBCs, most of them are probably going to be around like the Carrasco and the Felipe Anderson are. Like, they're not stupid expensive SBCs. They're in that realm of, of, of like, good value. Now, Carrasco's 400,000 coins. Uh, that's, that is a bit expensive to be honest. Uh, and I, I haven't even looked, he's four squads. Wow. That's, that's kind of expensive. I can't lie, uh, to get that one done for 400 K that's a little bit much, but you know, besides a 400 K SBC, like Felipe Anderson being 156 K, you know, we do have a, a leak for a potential card that might be coming today. Kalini end of an era. Evidently the end of an era cards are not quite done yet. So this might come today. It might not, but that would be the sort of SBC I would say would be a great place to focus on the middle tier to low tier fodder. If you're going to invest or do a club stock in any of those cards, like the 83s to 86s, that, that, that lower tier. I think I'm a decent fan of those. Based on the content, looks like it might be coming out this week uh, or at least in the next couple of days, right? Of course, you, you might be buying, like we looked at Harry Kane. We always look at Kane and Conte. Those are like our high-rated fodder, uh, like baseline cards. Kane's 30K right now. Conte's about 31, 32. Those guys are up a little bit from where they were, but we've had some big SBCs recently that people have been doing that have kept them up in price. So they could go up higher today though with a really insane icon player pick uh, pack or something like that on Sunday today. So that's kind of the fodder. You know, we talked about Sunday content a little bit too and I mentioned the end of an era Chiellini. That's not a leak for today. That's just a leak in general and we haven't seen his card yet. And usually after a leak, a player SBC drops like that in a few days. So I think today's a very, very, very possible day for an end of an era uh, Chiellini card. Of course, like I mentioned, we have had back-to-back -back days of shapeshifter SBCs. Today might be a break for them with that, but we're getting three more shapeshifters in packs, and we, of course, already know who those cards are because EA put them into the game already uh, in those player picks that they dropped on Friday. Today's mini release is going to, of course, contain uh, Mr. Robertson as a CDM. This is probably the coolest Robble card we've like ever had. Maybe beside one of his like team of the years or team of the seasons in the past couple FIFAs, like a CDM position change Robble. That's pretty freaking sick. So I'm a big fan of that card. Of course, a lot of people are hyped for Grealish with the five star skills. That's a really dope looking card as well. He's going to be very expensive. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, he might be a card that's extinct today just because of the hype of him not having that many insane specials this year, and he's getting a pretty insane one today on the game. And then also we had Everton, right? Uh, the Brazilian, yeah, Brazilian striker with five-star skills. He'll be pretty cheap, but might be a cheap beast. So keep an eye on that. But that should be three more Shapeshifter cards coming into packs today on Sunday, since of course they were not dropped yesterday on the game. They should be dropped today on Sunday, which is also normally when we do have those mini releases dropped in the game. So I would definitely watch out for those. Of course, more lightning rounds, more stuff like that. But today is also a bit different because weekend league ends uh, like tonight, right? Sunday night into Monday morning, weekend league ends. It's the old schedule. So, you know, as I'm taking a look at some of these shapeshifters 
you know the old kind of trend that these guys would have is that they would get low on sundays like right before weekend league rewards and then people would get their rewards into the week and they would actually go out and they would buy some of these cards um, because they want to try that for their team or they get rewards and they get some coins and these are the new hype cards that are out. I think that absolutely has a chance of happening this week. You know, last night I bought, I bought a bunch of Kalulus at uh, like 390K and I sold them all at like 450. I bought a bunch of Alfonso Davies, um, you know, just like 490. And I believe Davies now is like 390 or something like that. Yeah, 390. So he's continued to drop off a decent amount. Aubameyang is down. Uh, and then, you, of course, you have your Atal is down a lot as well. 400,000 coins for Atal after he was pretty sure he was like 500 something yesterday. So a lot of these cards are down further from where they are, except for like Hazard Messi. They're just like stupid rare and stupid expensive. So they're still way up there. But as these cards continue to drop, that's also impacting the rest of the market. And we'll talk about that in a sec. But let me finish up my thoughts here about the content today on Sunday. Of course, as I mentioned, uh, probably those mini release cards. I mean, if they're not today, that'd be really confusing if I'm honest. And then, of course, the 81 plus double daily login SBC. Make sure you guys are getting this done um, every single day because now we are going to be up to day five, which will get us a one of four one of three 85 plus player pick, which is pretty sick. Now I'm going to open my 84 plus still haven't packed any of these shapeshifters yet. Would love to get one. I'll take a Bruno Fernandez. That's not bad. Good fodder. We'll take that. It's probably going to go into the icon SBC. As you can see, I've got some uh, other fodder in there. My sign ready to rip on an icon SBC that could potentially come out today. So make sure you're, you're, you're getting, uh, you know, up to speed with that. And then also we haven't had it yet. And I talked about it in yesterday's video, but we're supposed to be getting new objectives. That was leaked by Foot Sheriff. Some bronze and silver cards. Like something about you, you being a bronze squad playing against a silver squad. I don't exactly know how it's going to look. I thought it was going to drop yesterday, but it didn't. So maybe it's going to drop today on Sunday. We will see if we have any interesting information about that. But that just, it sounds weird until we see how EA do it. I'm, I'm really curious to see how they would end up doing something like that but let's talk about compensation once again really fast it has been five days ea sports since you have tweeted this out and said that the ult or the efix tots upgrade spc has been temporarily removed players who completed the spc will receive corrected rewards in the near future near future we are five days away and i don't know man but near future to me doesn't does not really seem like five days so hopefully i know it's the weekend and you're like nate they're not working today right well I don't know, man. It sounds like they just press a button and compensation gets paid out. I know it takes a lot more work than that, but hopefully maybe their computers have figured it out. Either it's today on Sunday or maybe like tomorrow on Monday or Tuesday. If it takes more than a week, I mean, that's just dead. I can't lie. But hopefully it's coming very soon because we are just sitting here waiting. I want to open three more TOTS packs. Absolutely, bro. I would absolutely love to do that. So we're still waiting on compensation, EA Sports. I don't know what's taking so long. Um, and a lot of times it's, it's never just like, you know, one day or two days, e either EA gets the compensation like automatically and it's super fast or it takes them forever. And most of the times it takes them forever. And that's kind of just where we're stuck right now, waiting for those compensation packs. Everybody's like pounding on their desk, like EA drop the packs, but EA is not doing it. And maybe they're just withholding them from us, uh, to make us want them even more, which is, I mean, to be fair, Nah, it sucks. EA, just drop the packs, man. I'm not going to try to make an argument and, and say that what you're doing and waiting to drop the compensation is somewhat explainable. Nah, man, just drop it, EA Sports. All right, that's my rant over. But anyways, speaking of the market, with these shapeshifter cards, like I mentioned, continuing to drop, and since they're, you know, pretty cracked items, right? You think about think about a guy like Jude Bellingham, who we thought was pretty low at 1.1 million coins. Yeah, now this guy's under 900K. Like, these... So many of these TOTS cards just keep dropping off in price because the brand new stuff that is out is more cracked. It's more um, meta and people just want to give it a shot and they want to go for it and they want to try these cards out. And that is why you're seeing the market react in this way that it is. Now, if you remember last week during Ultimate TOTS, Saturday was the lowest day uh, you, we saw insane panic selling. A lot of those cards hit a low. They rebounded back up into like, you know, Sunday, Monday time frame, And then they went back down further later on in the week when we had like the 94 plus player pick and stuff. So for a lot of these TOTS cards, if you're like, Nate, my man, like, 
you know, I, I was not able to afford Benzema or Vinny, and and now here I am. Vinicius Jr. being three million, okay, two point nine is an undercut, I think. Unless he was actually there, that'd be crazy. No, he's been there. Two point eight mil for Vinny, dude. And Vinny just a week ago was three eight three seven, so he's down almost a million coins in like a week, um, which which is wild. But when you have a five star, five star son and a hazard. You know, in a, a Davies and in a Tall and Messi and these cards being so expensive that people had to sell stuff to go to, to get coins to try them out. It does kind of make sense. But I do think that you'll see some of the panic selling actually come to a halt. Uh, I think you, we might be close to some of the low points for a few of these cards. I really think you could see some bounce backs. Like I was just kind of looking at Ben Yedder, seeing him at 840K was pretty wild. What was he yesterday? He started off 977 and went to 860. So, you know, a card like this Ben Yedder is rare enough. He might bounce back up to like over 900, especially with some hype. Um, so, wow, Neymar is 4.5. That is wild. So his card keeps dropping. I've seen like um, Fantasy Dembele is down a lot as well. One of those cards that's been like super duper uh, rare all year long and they're just finally starting to drop off. Last week with Ultimate Tots, you saw a lot of this elite tier stuff drop. And then this week with the shape, oh my gosh, 2.7 mil for St. Max after he was 4 mil like three or four days ago. That's crazy. I mean, this card should never have been 4 mil uh, d during team of the season, but he was. But that's just because he's stupid rare and, and stupid OP. So these cards are getting the price correction that was kind of due to them. If we're, if we're being honest, those cards were kind of due a price correction. But it's still really crazy to see uh, there, those cards drop off that much in value. So that's kind of what I would say for those. If you're wanting to pick up any shapeshifters today, it's really going to depend on the Sunday content. Um, if the Sunday content is really, really fire today, then you might see some of these cards rebound, uh, or sorry, not rebound, but go down further, um, into the night tonight on Sunday. But if the content today is underwhelming, kind of like it was yesterday, then I also think you could see some of these cards maybe spike back up a little bit. And then have a potential to um, get them for a rise on Monday, you know, if you see low enough prices. This Alfonso Davies for me, man, that's 380 That's really, really cheap. So, you know, I might be able to try to flip up one or two of these cards overnight into today on Sunday. But I'm probably just going to steer clear um, and, just, and just play it safe because... You know, these shapeshifter cards, they are pretty rare, but they also have had two days of supply now. And usually the Saturday and the Sunday flips just, they're not quite as good. So, you know, if you're on the market right now, of course, try out the cards you want to try out. Have fun with the cards that you have. You can see that we made a decent amount of coins yesterday. I don't know if I still own any cards. Oh, I bought some Julian, right? Julian Alvarez, 521. This guy is going out of packs and he was so, 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 so low yesterday that I just had to buy him. I want to try him out as well. Um, how much is Julian Alvarez right now? Is he actually like 600K or no? Uh, he's not a shapeshifter. He is a commonwealth team of the group stage. But he's going out of packs. Nope, not that one. He does have a team of the week. Okay, 580. Okay, interesting. So he was over 600K for a slight bit. But I might just hold on to him for a couple days. He's stupid rare, so maybe he'll bounce back up a little bit. So I've got a little bit of my coins and some flips right now, but nothing super crazy. Um, but, I, you know, I'm probably not going to hold on to too many cards just because the way the market is. How much is Talishka? Talishka's 300K, man, so he's down as well. Still a stupid rare card. But, you know, if you're trading on the market, I think fodder's the place to go, or you just quick flip the fluctuations with some of these cards, kind of like I did with the Alvarez, buying him at 520. He goes back over 600,000 coins, maybe at some point today or tomorrow, and then we sell him there. Or maybe if you're trading with, the, trading with any of the brand new shapeshifters or just out of packs cards in general, there's still places to trade in this market if you're wanting to make coins, uh, or if you're just wanting to buy cards for your team as well. You know, I would I would still for shapeshifters specifically, I would keep a close eye on some of these shapeshifters. Uh, you know, maybe today. Today, today on Sunday would probably be a good time to look at a guy like a tall um, you know, Davies, maybe to look at a guy like an Abamyang as well. The suit the ones that are more rare that are not stupid expensive. Kalulu as well. Like this guy is so so rare. He's he's an absolutely incredible incredible card to trade with because he goes from like three what is he right now 367 350 nah man i have to buy that 350 for kalilu that's pretty crazy he was literally just 375 10 minutes ago and you know earlier yesterday i was selling this guy at four 450k so 
three three fifty. That's a that's a price for me on Kalulu. That's that's plenty plenty low. That might have just been a snipe though, and he's actually sitting at three sixty five. And then the next one is like 380. So that was probably just a lucky snipe. And I'm not going to get any more there. But that'd be a great price for him, in my opinion. I think he'll bounce up a little bit today just because he's really rare. And uh, boom, there he goes a little bit right there. That one undercut got bought up. So if you're trading on the market or if you're wanting to buy any of these cards, I think today might be a decent shout. The only reason that it would not be a decent shout is if... Um, if the content throughout the rest of this week is banging, just like it was last week for Ultimate Tots, if they release some crazy content Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's going to keep these Shapeshifter cards trickling downwards in price, especially as we have a Team 2. We're expecting a Team 2 from Shapeshifter. So, um, you know, since this is a Team 1 branded promo, you see it everywhere, right? Shapeshifters, Team 1 right here below in the little info screen on the graphic as you're loading the game. So we're expecting a two-week promo, um, and as we start getting leaks for Team 2, that could also impact prices on these cards as we go throughout the rest of this week. Now, speaking really quickly for the rest of this week, um, I am going to be taking a quick break from making the YouTube videos every evening, going on a slight little trip um, with um, the wife, but... Uh, I will be back and there will be some videos posted on the channel in the next couple of days. There's probably just going to be like one video missed um, until Thursday when we'll be back per normal. So just a short one, but we'll be back in a couple days. It's that time of the year, right? Time to recharge the batteries a little bit here and there. And uh, yes, Shapeshifters is cool, but I'm going to take this opportunity to recharge the batteries a little bit before, of course, uh, we head into the big guy, big time grind again when 23 comes out in the fall. Uh, but there's still going to be some videos popping up on the channel. Uh, I'm going to talk about some FIFA 23 leaks because we really haven't talked about FIFA 23 that much. But expect a video on that. And of course, we packed so many insane TOTS cards with the 94 plus SBC. I need to give that SBC some more love. Uh, we're going to we're gonna show some of those insane pack pulls and the fun that we had on stream last week uh, on another one of the videos coming up on the channel in the next couple days as well. So we'll have today's video and then a couple more, maybe a day off in there as we're gone. And then, of course, we'll be back on Thursday to check out what's going on with the Shapeshifters and probably heading into Team 2 of Shapeshifters by that point. So, I know it's a long outro, a lot to talk about, and I kind of blabbered there for a few minutes. But, it's a Sunday in FIFA. It's a Sunday in real life, too. Have a good Sunday. Have a good weekend. Hope your weekend things are going well. Hope your weekend is going well. And uh, in America, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Big W. So, if you enjoyed the video today... Throw a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Wood Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.